they are doubling their COVID testing in the weeks after the holiday season, and dozens of other districts are interested in following their lead. CBS 2's Chris Ty live at Park Junior High in LaGrange with the model that may be soon turning a profit, Chris. Marie, here in LaGrange, elementary school students take their saliva tests and bring them to school, but junior high school students take the tests here on campus, either just outside buildings like this or in school hallways. The district says it's a successful program. Students say it's a little strange, and one member of the Board of Education says it's a business opportunity. Part school superintendent, Part nurse. They just use these. Twice a week in this post holiday cycle, the top administrator at LaGrange District 102 can be found administering COVID saliva tests. Up in Dwarf Tube, we've been able to stay in school with our hybrid program for since August 27th. It was like a sad Results within 24 hours, confidence follows soon after. It makes me feel more comfortable being in school, and it, there's not that much stress that you could get sick. 82% of students and staff taking part. Testing will last at least through spring break, costing the district $11 per test. And when they rolled it out this fall, other districts came calling. We heard you're doing something that uh, is helping keep sc keeping schools safe. Loyola virologist Dr. Edward Campbell, who also sits on the LaGrange Board of Education, devised the program. He's since built it into a private business. Oh, I would call it hockey stick growth. 30 schools and school districts have now hired him, more calling every day. Similar to the U of I saliva testing this summer, he built and paid for PCR machines to run those tests out of a school district science facility. Is this proving to be a good business for you? There's a pretty large financial startup uh, for a company like this in the hundreds of thousands of dollar range and it does take a little bit of time to recoup that money. As long as his client districts test all semester, he says he'll Thank turn you. a profit, turning the conventional business model taught in classrooms like this completely upside down. I have a pretty weird business model, right? Because I really want to go out of business in June. The superintendent says another reason for their success here, a community that's all sort of rowing in the same direction. They all want kids back in school in a safe way. And when parents and administrators are sort of in lockstep, that helps. One other thing, he says it doesn't hurt to have a virologist on the Board of Education. In LaGrange, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.